Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today we have my first custom doll. I'm going to be recreating my favorite character from the movie Encanto and one of my all-time favorites, Luisa Madrigal. I will be using a fashionista Barbie doll and try to keep the Mattel style but buff her up a little bit. So I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. This Barbie came with a haircut, so the first thing we need to do is to remove it. And I'm going to use my thread snippers because they make this job quite easy. The next step is to sculpt the muscles. I was looking forward to this one because it's the first time I will try this. And I read that it's useful to look at anatomy illustrations and follow the actual muscle structure. So that's what I will attempt. <laughs> and if you're a sculptor, I'm really sorry you have to see this. <laughs> but I learned by doing and we have to start somewhere. Lisa's posters usually show her flexing her arm and I think it's a very nice way to show off her muscles so I will need to do a little operation. I'm going to cut and reattach the arm and cut the fingers off <laughs> so I can create a fist.
when the first sculpting is dry, I'm going to switch to the fine epoxy putty so I can work on the details a little more. The next step is to make the muscles a little smoother by filing and sanding them and I want to show off my new files. Although the original eyes will be covered by the priming, I still want to remove them just in case. As usual, I'm going to be using acetone to remove the paint and after I'm finished, I'm going to wash the head with soap and water. Once everything is primed and dry, I'm going to use some acrylic paint to change the skin color to match Luisa's. After painting, I noticed how uneven some of the surfaces were, so I went back to the epoxy putty and I reworked them a little more, and then I went back to filing and sanding.
Now that the body is complete, I'm going to move on to the hair. And I should have used nylon hair, however, I wasn't able to find the right color in time. So I went again for acrylic hair, which is much harder to work with and quite stiffer in the end. This is something I will definitely do differently. And now it's time to start with the clothes. The way I make them is by using cling film and paper tape to create the patterns directly on the body. This way I know that the clothes will fit right. I have an older video about this, if you want to take a look I will leave it somewhere around here and in the description. I looked around my house and I couldn't find my white fabrics, so I'm going to be using an old cotton t-shirt. And this was actually not a terrible idea because it already has these nice borders that I don't need to sew.
are the little trousers that Luisa uses under the skirt, the enaguas in Spanish, I don't know in English. Uh, I'm going to use the same technique with the paper tape patterns. For the bracelets, I'm going to use the same embroidery thread, but in blue and purple. And for the sandals, I'm going to use this elastic brown thread and some leather for the soles. The material for the skirt is this beautiful blue jersey spandex. It was a little thicker than I expected, but I really love the color. have left now is the paint. I'm going to start by painting the skirt. I'm going to use my two favorite colors that you might have seen in so many videos already, the purple and the green blue. And I'm going to make a design inspired by the one we can see in Luisa. Uh, however, it's going to be a little more simplified because the doll is quite small. These are acrylic paints, a little watered down, so I had to do lots of layers. Now the scariest part, <laughs> this is the first time I'll try to do Barbie eyes. So 
I could lie and say that my intention was to make the eyes look like Barbie the whole time. <laughs> the truth is, I tried to make them look more like Luisa, but I didn't go that well. So I used another Barbie I had and I ended up doing a similar style. If I ever read it, this doll, I would definitely try to make the eyes look more like Luisa's eyes in the movie. So we can say this is a Barbuisa <laughs> doll. Here is the finished doll. Looking back, there are several things I would have done differently, but I'm still glad I finished it and I learned a lot. So I hope you enjoyed the video, I would love to hear what you thought of this project, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you and have a great week!